I love painting mountains. I really, really do. I even have some tutorials on my channel on how you can paint mountains like I do that are super easy to follow along with. But sometimes coming up with the tutorials and the ideas for them is really time consuming, so I decided to uh, outsource the job. I had an AI text generator generate a tutorial on how to paint mountains with watercolor. <laughs> and um, it came up with something. It, it, it really did something there. Uh, I don't know how to describe this. You're just gonna have to see it. <laughs> Here it is. How to Paint Mountains with Watercolor by an AI Text Generator. You can't simply use a traditional brush and create a new landscape using a paintbrush. You must use a light and complex brush, like I did, and make sure to use a dry brush. A long and hard fought battle over watercolor has led me to this very simple solution. Watercolor? with watercolor. It was a fairly long and hard battle, and I love watercolor and the water and the soil and how it can give an atmosphere of shade that can cause you to leave your house smelling of leaves and grass. The smell of burning tires and trees and the smell of smoke from chimneys and fire pipes that's a bit too harsh for me. I didn't want to look dirty or smell bad or like I was having a bad day. I wanted to get away from all of that. Well, that was a time-consuming process, and I will share my simple solution for you soon. I'll paint my mountains on green paper and brush watercolor that will provide the beautiful results. I'll let you know how watercolor works in the comments, so feel free if you like it to let me know. You can try this brush now. Green paper brush, available to choose from. Green paper brush, $4. Black blue paper brush, price does not include shipping. Well, that was, um... Interesting to say the least. I think I expected it to be less personal and 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 I definitely expected there to be less fire and um, s smoke. Anyways, it was actually really interesting to try to take that and then interpret what it was meaning and what it actually wanted me to do. So I've used some green paper with a light, it was a light brush that was complex. It had a lot of different shapes to the bristles and I dry brushed the mountains on. Do they look like mountains? I'm not gonna say no. I do actually like how I was able to get multiple layers with one stroke, so that is something. I am pretty curious to see if I would ever be able to use kind of the right description in order to get the text generator to make something I might be able to follow along with more. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Also, if you've ever had an AI do something for you, let me know all about that in the comments. I wanna hear.